One of the cardinal features of democracy is the accountability of public office holders to the people they were elected to govern. As a government of the people, for the people, every public office holder is aware of the importance attached to carrying along the people who constitute the masses and the potential of their input in the policy-making and running of the affairs of state. The 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria stipulates that presentation of the proposed budget of a state or the nation to the House of Assembly and National Assembly respectively is a constitutional responsibility of the executive arm of government. For the Senator Ibikuni Amusun led administration, this function is not taken lightly by the executive governor. It is carried out with the utmost diligence and preparedness by him and members of his cabinet. As such, the presentation of the proposed 2014 budget to the Ogun State House of Assembly on the 19th of November 2013 came after a lot of input and consultations from all sectors in the state. The presentation of the 2013 budget last year was greeted with a lot of excitement by the people. This was not far from what the people witnessed as the level of transformation in Ogun State was unprecedented. True to their expectations, the year 2013 witnessed even greater, more purposeful development in every sector of the state, from health to infrastructure to education to agriculture to commerce and more. Ogun State is rapidly becoming the place to be. Following this, it was not surprising that the 2014 budget presentation was greeted with even greater expectations. Before the budget presentation, the government organized a town hall meeting supervised by the Ogun State Ministry of Budget and Planning where citizens were given a chance to make their input towards the making of key decisions in the running of the state. Having heard from the people what their needs and expectations were, a Treasury Board meeting was convened at the Obas Complex on the 5th and 6th of November 2013. This forum was held to assess the performance of the various ministries and agencies during the 2013 fiscal year. The forum also gave the various ministries the chance to explain how the 2013 budget was implemented by their ministries and agencies. It was also a period for them to make a case for allocations in the 2014 appropriation. The need for this kind of town hall meeting as well as the Treasury Board meeting before the planning of the budget is explained by the Commissioner for Budget and Planning. The Treasury Board meeting is part of our entire um, budget process. Um, we normally start with the call circular, then we will do a workshop, a kind of training so that all that all the people that are involved in the project process know exactly what is expected of them. Thereafter, um, we um, have interactive sessions with the um, ministries so that we can draw up strategies for um, implementing the budget. Some commissioners spoke concerning the internally generated revenue as well as the execution of the budget and the performance of their respective ministries in the 2013 fiscal year. Well, I'm quite happy with the envelope size that we have because frankly speaking for me, the charge is not how much is coming from government. Our charge should be to you to look for donor funding. And um, we're working very hard in that regard. Uh, last week we got one and then um, we're expecting another team from Canada tomorrow together with the Deputy High Commission of the Canadian High Commission. Definitely the rural leaders have to be developed. The rural people are, uh, are eager to have the development we have in the urban centers. So, and definitely the, the governor has passion for them. But for the paucity of funds, we've not been able to do much, but uh, we are going to do a lot for them. The executive governor, Senator Ibikunle Amusun, arrived at the chamber of the Ogun State House of Assembly on Tuesday, the 19th of November, 2013, and was welcomed by the Speaker of the House, the Right Honorable Siraj Ishola Adekumbi. At exactly 10 a.m., the session began first with the national anthem, 
followed by the Ogun State Anthem. The Speaker welcomed all to the session, especially the Executive Governor, Senator Ibikunle Amusu. The Speaker used the opportunity to extol the achievements of the Administration in the rebuilding of the State, while also enumerating some achievements of the 7th Legislature in Ogun State. Speaker Suraj Adekumbi also reassured the Governor of the House's commitment to achieving the vision of the Administration. In order to realize this, our collective goal, the House will effectively support the executive through the passage of relevant legislation that will significantly enhance the deepening and diversification of revenue source in the state without, without putting unnecessary burden on our people. The 2014 budget, tagged Budget of Consolidation, was then presented by Governor Ibikunle Amusu to the State House of Assembly. The Governor started by a review of the 2013 budget and touched on the achievements and challenges of the administration in the year under review. I am happy to report that in the implementation of the 2013 budget, appreciable progress has been made. The state has witnessed considerable achievements in different areas. We have made remarkable positive impacts on the life of our people through our developmental efforts. The journey so far and the positive changes witnessed by the good people of Ogun State and the steady progress we continue to make in our mission to rebuild in less than 30 months is an indication of our resourcefulness, determination and doggedness. A summary of the 2013 total budgetary allocation of 211.79 billion Naira was outlined by Governor Ibikuni Musu. Approved recurrent expenditure 94.8 billion Naira. Capital expenditure budget 116.9 billion Naira. Approved revenue budget 148.68 billion Naira. Internally generated revenue 74.86 billion Naira. Federation account 73.82 billion. Capital receipts 63.11 billion Naira. We encountered some challenges in the implementation of the 2013 budget. As a government, we are not insulated from the wider national economic challenges. The funds from the Federation account and value-added taxes have been significantly lower than expected. According to Governor Amusu, all these factors, however, did not deter the state government in achieving its mission of rebuilding Ogun State. Rather, it gave the state more impetus to work harder to serve its citizenry. During the review, Governor Amusun took time to outline the achievements made in his five cardinal programs. They include education, refurbishment of 2,234 classrooms and construction of 878 new classrooms, distribution of instructional materials for the 2013-2014 academic session, Conduct of unified examination and full payment of YEC fees to students in all public schools. Supply of 15,652 sets of furniture to public primary and secondary schools. And continued funding of the construction of 15 model schools. The result of these initiatives are already evident. I'm happy to report that our free education policy has resulted in an increase in primary school student enrollment from 506,114 in 2012-2013 section to 519,966 in 2013-2012, while the secondary school enrollment figure rose from 387,915 in 2012-2013 session to 411,619 in 2013-2014 section. On health, the achievements include provision and upgrading of equipment in various government hospitals, signing and funding of a public-private partnership agreement for the provision of laboratory equipment, and increase in employment of medical doctors, nurses, pharmacists and nursing tutors. Let me quickly point out that in spite of these efforts, the number of medical personnel, the equipment and infrastructure remain inadequate to cater for the needs of our rapidly growing population. Let me assure the people of Open State that we are resolute, we are determined and we are on course to attain an efficient healthcare delivery system in our dear state. In agriculture, 
completion of a modern farm estate in Owowo in Ewekoro local government area. Establishment of a 200-hectare rice farming project supported with full irrigation system in Egwa and Onidundu. Boosting of cassava and local maize production for domestic livestock and industrial use. And continued support for Fadama 3 project by providing counterpart funding in the acquisition of productive assets and community-owned infrastructure. We have continued with our support for Fadama 3 projects by providing counterpart funds in the acquisition of 200 productive assets and small-scale community-owned infrastructure. This has led to a total of 29,963 jobs in rural areas, including 8,800 women and 1,500 youth through Fadama activities in the state. Other sectors such as commerce and industry have seen major businesses established from the inception of this administration, together with hundreds of small and medium-scale enterprises across the state. The total estimated number of jobs created exceeds 22,800. The 1 billion Naira Joint Ogun State Government and Bank of Industry Loan Funds has been a source of benefit to 51 cooperative groups consisting of 496 individuals and 22 small and medium-scale enterprises who were able to access the loans under this scheme. To date, there are more than 5,000 direct and indirect beneficiaries from this intervention, which is also an indication that the improvement of lives and standard of living of the people of Ogun State is paramount in the minds of the state government, under the administration of Senator Ibikunle Amusu. Governor Amusu also reported on the full computerization and automation of forestry operations in the state, sustenance of the rollout of mass transit schemes with the introduction of 150 modern air-conditioned Igbaotun metro taxis, supply of transformers to communities across the state, an investment in the provision of potable water in collaboration with the World Bank. So also is the rehabilitation of 220 kilometers of rural roads across 15 local government areas of the state, with grading, laterite filling, and provision of culverts where necessary, in addition to over 28 major roads and flyover bridges under construction, with some completed within the urban centers across the state. All these point to the judicious utilization of the 2013 budget and the fact that the funds accrued to the state government are being properly managed. Having reviewed the 2013 budget, the governor gave a breakdown of the 2014 budget. Accordingly, the proposed budget is 210.21 billion, .21 billion, which is a marginal reduction from the 2013 budget of 211.78 billion. The 2014 budget comprises of 117.5 billion capital expenditure, which represents 55.9%, and 92.7 billion recorded expenditure, accounting for the balance of the 44.1%. The slight increase in capital allocation reflects our commitment to sustain the growth of infrastructure in the state while we seek, while we seek efficiency in our recurrent expenditure. According to Governor Amusun, the proposed 2014 budget is geared towards consolidating the rapid progress of completing the existing projects and rolling out of the revised strategies. He gave a breakdown of how the budget would be funded. Internally generated revenue would be 84.12 billion, representing 40.02% of the fund that will be needed to fund the 2014 budget. Federation account will be 70.25, representing 33.42%. The total revenue will therefore be 154 billion point three eight, representing 73.44%. Capital receipts will be 55.83, representing 55.83 billion, representing 26.56%. The five cardinal programs of the administration received the following in the overall budget. Education, 43.99 billion Naira, representing 20.93%. Rural and infrastructural development, 34. 0.66 billion Naira, representing 16.9%. percent 
Housing and Urban Renewal 26.74 billion Naira, representing 12.72%. Health 21.11 billion Naira, representing 10.04%. And Agriculture and Industrialization 10.52 billion Naira, representing 5.01% of the total budget. Other areas such as personnel cost took 57.15 billion Naira, representing about 27.19% of the total budget. Capital expenditure will gulp a whopping sum of 117.51 billion Naira, representing 55.9% of the total budget and covering the five cardinal programs. Even though there is a marginal reduction in the 2014 budget compared to the 2013 budget, there is a slight increase in the capital allocation which reflects this administration's commitment to sustain the growth of infrastructure in the state. This is due to the many projects that are still under construction which are expected to be completed in the coming year to meet the needs and aspirations of the people. The Governor also reiterated his commitment in his mission to rebuild Ugun State. The presentation came to a close after about two hours. The Speaker, Ugun State House of Assembly, and some members of the House spoke on the presentation. It was an uh, ambitious uh, uh, budget uh, estimate, and uh, we have no doubt in, in our mind that uh, his Excellency, with what he has done in the last three years, that we are not going to, definitely we are going to have an um, optimal performance. Generally, um, the governor has said it that um, this budget presentation, or this 2014 budget, is um, a budget of consolidation. Uh, it is time for us to complete all those projects. It is time for us to change it. We, I don't want, and I don't think the government wants um, Ogun State to continuously be referred to as um, um, construction sites. We want the finished product. And I think this budget will complete those project, projects and um, will be enjoying the dividends of democracy as it's supposed to be. I can see a budget that is quite realistic. I can see a project that is uh, direct, uh, that have direct bearing on the people, that considers the people. We are still going to peruse the, the whole budget of 2014. Where there's need to add to it, we add to it. Where there's need to deduct from it, we reduce from it. And so far so good, I believe uh, is an excellent uh, budget. And then going by the title of the budget, uh, budget of uh, consolidation. You will agree with me in your title, and even with the governor, the presenter of the budget, that that's the best title to, to give to that budget. Take into cognizance the tremendous uh, work in which he has embarked upon.